，你好像在散步嘞。啊、<笑><笑>没有，我在厨房。人，因为我现在已经放心了。嗯，今天去你做生意的啊？对的，我去逛街。好、哦，我看到哈、哦，内地我喜欢吃的那个快速面。Oh my god！ 我看到我的康师傅，还有统一。我开心耶！像那个牛肉、卤肉、卤牛肉面，马上我就打包很多呀。呀 ，Helen， 哎，刚刚 live。啊 ，OK，Hi，Good evening，Thank you everyone for joining us in our once a week. Uh, every Tuesday nine to ten o'clock, our Facebook live on Let's Talk Commercial Shop House. And so today we have、um, our team team, Grisling. Hi, Grisling. Hi, Richard. Hello. And, Hello.、Um, we are here tonight、uh, to share with you.、Uh, and、uh, we're here tonight to share with you the、uh, recent market. And、uh, so this、uh, past week has been an eventful week. We have、uh, done quite a bit of、um, uh, transactions. Okay,、uh, and some sale and some.、Uh, Rental, and、uh, also we have been、uh, been on the ground, talk, walking the ground, talking to people, talking to tenants and and、uh, operate、um, operators and、uh, shop owners about、uh, what is going on in the market and how the things are, are evolving. I think、uh, there are a lot of places like Chinatown. There are a lot of movements on、uh, Amsiang Road,、uh, Clark Street. There are a lot of movements in and out. You know, every week. When I go to Ansiang area, it is a, a a different landscape. Okay, and then、uh, also in Amoy Street, the Lower East Street, there are also quite a bit of movement. Amoy Street and all these、um, uh, short houses, you know, they are cons.、Uh, um, they are you know all this while they have been moving, there have been changes, but it's just at、uh, this this、uh, pandemic, it's just、uh, accelerated these changes a bit faster. And is it for the better?、Um, We don't know, okay, but we know that、um, as consumer, we always like to go to new shops, right? We always like to see、uh, new faces, new decoration, and then we like to try new things because of the novelty.、Um, but、um, whatever it is, I think、uh, changes is always good.、Uh, we don't want to be left behind. We just we just need to keep up with the time, right? So getting ourselves updated is very important.、Uh, so Grace, maybe you can talk about your walk at Chinatown today. <笑> Hello， 大家晚上好。又到了周二杂文聊天会的时候哦。今天呢，我就去了牛车水记走走看看，然后很多收获。<笑>嗯，因为呢，我本身呢是啊呃,呃，集中我的精神大部分都是在市中，而不是在核心区。那么在核心区，今天呢，我是发现到哦。其实给那些年轻一代哈企业的是，现在真的是一个很好的机会，嗯，因为我今天收取到很多店屋业主的，呃那些资料，还有店铺在招租，如果说做餐饮的话，我觉得真的是啊、呃、是时候了。因为我相信，早在冠病阻断措施之前呢，大家很想进攻核心区，但。就是没有这个机会，现在真的是机会，时机到了。因为很多时候，年轻的一代，就如我女儿，就是说，妈妈，我们这一代，我们是有，她是以英文跟我说的，妈妈，我们这一代啊，要创业很难呢，你们租金好贵啊，进那个核心区很难呢，怎么办？因为她跟我说要做冰冰淇淋店，我说哈，冰淇淋，除了冰淇淋还能做什么？他讲美甲咯，啊哈，美甲，为什么美甲？你不知道吗？新加坡女人爱美的，我要最好赚的钱都是女人的钱。我说哇，天哪！我女儿二十岁跟我讲这种话，哈哈，聪明啊，聪明啊！我在那边，我在那边，天哪！我说除了做美甲还有什么？你不知道吗？现在我们是 rest and relax, lay back generation。不像你们这样，你们这一代是 sandwich class。我当年，我女儿跟我讲这种话耶，天哪 ！Anyway， 就是真的，再重复一遍，就是现在年轻一代，如果真的是要进攻核心区哦，真的是时候了，可以跟我们联系
，嗯，而且我们的啊、呃、同行也一样，如果说你们有啊、呃，就是企业家要啊、呃、扩充他们营业路，核心区也好，市中也好，我们都有存货，尽管是啊、呃、买卖。又或者是招租的做餐饮的，就是因为为何我们会说风水轮流转？因为我们下一代哈，其实他们是以电脑系来做呃生意，那么只要他们把生意带上网的时候呢，一只要一带网红，一网红哈，你们还没开装修好了，只要你那么第一天要做生意的时候，其实已经有那个人龙啊在排队等着进你的门店，嗯，这是真的。其实哈、哦，嗯，真的要要学 e-commerce， 因为我也是现在要开始，我拿到 skill 翻的那个 letter 了，我要去上课了，<笑>我要去选，我要选那个 IT 的课程，然后呢，就是把我们的生意，我们的这个房产的啊、呃、生意带上网，一样的道理。那么呃，主要呢，为何会想到去进修电脑系？因为这这这样子，我们可以协助到我们的业主，就是把他们的房产带上网，去在线直售，就是招租。嗯，这是我们的下一步。嗯，<笑> yeah. Yes. Good. Uh, thank you, Gracie. Um, very interesting. So yes, we have to keep up with the times. We have to, uh, not be left behind. We need to. Get ourselves updated. Also, I think the best investment, right, is actually investing on ourselves. Um,、uh, what about Richard? Richard, you have um、yeah. new, uh, new updates for us. Uh, for the uh the most recent things that's happening in the commercial shop houses. Yep.、Yes. Yep. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Helen and Gracelyn. Yeah, for the introduction on the on the shop house and today's today's uh topic. So basically, what I want, what what we want to share today is what、uh, our topic has mentioned, Feng Shui Lun Liu Zhuan. So which are the location that is that is you know in demand, and which are the location actually they are in, actually you know in the in the in the so called you know in the weak so called in the down down trend, and which the crowd are not going to the location. So. Generally, you know, shop house typically, you know, when we talk about shop house, we're talking about prime CBD location, you know. But is is CBD location continue to shine, or the the so called the 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 market actually has shift to the the outside central region, like you know, all the neighboring area or not? So basically, these are the these are the things that uh we want to share today. So. Like last week, last week we was talking about we was talking a bit on the on the shop house for sale, you know, in in Tras Street, you know, in Bukit Timah area, and also some coffee shop that is for sale for Grizzlyn. So basically, since last week to today, I just want to I just want to keep keep you guys updated on what is happening on the shop house market. That to be honest, I have received. Many calls, you know, many call that actually calling me to actually check on what is the available listing on the market. So, if you ask me, you know, out of you know, at least to me, I feel at least there is five buyers calling me over the last one week, and these five buyer, I would say that the four four of them are foreigner. There is one that is local. So these four buyer that is foreigner, like example for for today, there is a Propnex agent actually call me and he has a foreigner buyer. Okay, he call me and he want to find out more on the shop house. So typically, do you know what happen in half an hour's time? We actually do a zoom. The foreigner buyer are 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 at their hometown and I am in Singapore. You know, and we actually have a zoom within half an hour. We we have about a, a an an hour session. And the and the and the and this foreigner was convinced, and actually he's going to look into it because he's he has a friend in Singapore. Basically, he want to get his friend to go and take a look at the shop house. So you just imagine, ah.、Uh, so this is exactly what is happening now. And like yesterday, yesterday I was also showing showing a foreigner. Actually, they are they are from they are they are from China. Okay, so basically they come and see some of the shop houses in CBD. So 
you know, they have shortlisted because we have shown them at least about five of them, but they shortlisted three. Out of the three, when they go and view again, they actually give an offer immediately. The, 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 the difference between the asking price and the offer price is approximate around less than 10%. So it's a genuine offer, if you ask me, and they are ready to come into the market. So this is what I'm, I'm seeing. So, you know, just, I just continue to receive call, you know, that we are talking about shop houses. So to me, I'm just trying to update, you know, everyone, everyone uh, that are joining us today. So anyway, we will have more things to share. So before, before I continue, everyone can help us to like and share our page. Okay. So that then, then I can actually proceed with the latest transaction that I want to show you guys. So let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Okay, Gracie, you can see, huh? Yeah. Okay, so okay. every Tuesday, our, let's talk about commercial shop house. So same thing, but our timing has changed to 9 to 10 p.m. So this is exactly what, what we are doing. And now we are talking about we are in 9, 10. So same thing, disclaimer. Shop house is not what you, you see and you can actually just buy. There's more things that you need to actually understand you need to be understand. If not, you may actually go into certain pitfall. So do check with us, you know, or any Proxnex agent who actually, you know, you can actually check with any one of them so that they can actually approach us also. Okay. So, okay. So basically what, what we are going to share today. Okay. These are just, I just extracted out from SRX and these are all the transaction that is happening latest November 2nd. Look at it. Huh? So basically, later there will be another site. So totally, there's two. So typically, there's total approximately 20 of them, 20 transactions. And they only, I'm talking about only in October. Okay, actually, there's more coming. It's just that these are the ones that actually appear on SRX. So actually, we, I'm just trying to share. So basically, I just want to share a bit on certain units, like example, this upper fire labor route. This upper fire labor route is a, it's a single story, Upper Pailaba Road. It's a mixed zoning, light blue commercial and residential zoning. So it's a retail shop. So basically this unit was transacted, you know, just, you know, end of October uh, at 2.8 million. Uh, and it, it is outskirt. It is somewhere, it is somewhere, you know, on Upper Pailaba Road area, uh, which is, there's a lot of residential area, area there. Okay. So the next one that is quite interesting is particular this Upper Thompson estate. Actually, this is one of the hot spot, if you ask me, very few shop house along this upper Thompson Road. Okay, this particular unit actually was transacted at 5.8 million. Actually, the price are really, really, if you ask me, quite a quite a good price for the seller. Okay, so but you know, this unit actually was transacted at 5.8 million, which is only two story, and they are not F and B, they are actually a retail shop. Okay, they are only a retail shop. So you see, you just imagine, you know, it's not only, it's not only in the prime area, uh, in Upper Thompson, the Upper Pailaba, these are also areas that are, that are happening. Uh. So maybe we talk a bit, or maybe, maybe Gracie, you want to talk a bit on the, on the Deska road, you know, mm -hmm. and, and some of the Duchek one, and the Geylang one also. Yeah. Okay. 其实呢, Deska road conservation area, it's a little bit of 那么小印度呢，其实大家都啊误解了，说当我们讲小印度的区域的时候，他们以为哈这里只有啊，就是小印度那几条街。其实小印度也包含了瑞安雾煞，OK，台湾路、Hong、okay? Road、Deska 这个单位其实很靠近瑞春水星的那么这个如果没有估计错应该是一二九那么它一楼是能办餐饮的二楼为办公室还不阁楼那么这位业主呢其实他们有翻新过就是做NA 那么他们以400万成交 okay, 
，因为他是能做餐饮。其实，如果你们同行又或者是买家现在在线听到我们说的话，那么我们手头上还有几个单位在这这这一带哈，这个的 Star Road 啊、呃、，Star Away Road、Star Away Road 等等，热拉乌沙，我们都有存货。那么其实呢，这一个呃，这个第八区现在挺活跃的。那么其实我有几个单位已经也是一样收有有有收到，就是买家出价。那么呃，很接近了，很接近了。<笑>那么在这呃，你们大家都可以看得到的，就是说在十月、十一月，我们这个店屋的。范围啊，那个转售量啊，其实哈、啊、有增长的啊，有有看得到的，就是挺活跃的。不只是这样，在亚龙也是一样的，有啊成交啊，就是有几个单位已成交。那么它的你看得到六四幺亚龙路，对吧？嗯，六四幺，为什么它是以七百万成交呢？因为它是角头角头的一个店屋，可以办咖啡店。所以它的起价是 4,300 元。那么其实大家能看得到的，就是在亚龙这一区哈，只要是能办餐饮的，都是过 4,000 块的起价。那么如果说做门店、做普通商店的，都是啊、呃、少于 4,000 的起价。那么在沈市道或者是在亚龙路，我们也一样有店屋存货。那么，呃，有业主诚意，有打算，就是退休卖了之后分给下，就是平分给下一代，才有这个打算卖的。不是说现在行情不好要拿出来卖，嗯、不是的哈、哦。对对。误解，因为他们有年龄了，那么他们就说：“哎，秋林，我有这个打算，想把店屋卖了之后呢，转售，然后把那个呃资金套现了，然后分给孩子跟孙子。”所以才那些店屋才会在市场卖，这是我所争取到的那些信息。那么下来呢，你们看得到的东海岸也是一样，挺活跃的。那么呃，下来就是到了呃那个呃北那个呃北桥路，你们看得到的那个是补给室那那一个单位，那一个呢？是啊，就是独立式呃，独立的那一个单位，你看得到的，它的起价是大概是是呃一万一千呃成交的。那么这一这一个区域的补习师呢，其实哈、哦、货源呢、啊、少之又少，真的很少哦。嗯，那么接下来呢，最主要就是跟大家分享的就是说，尽管你是在考虑投资核心区，或者是在市中。就是啊，软软物沙、亚龙啊、卢切啊，又或者是在啊那个呃、啊、其他的那个区域，我们都有存货。那么最重点呢，只要是投资店屋，我们不仅只是看地点，我们也要留意人潮，他们往哪里去消费，嗯。还有注意一下周边有什么新啊比较创新的创新的店铺已经开始营业，其实你可以借力使力不费力。嗯 ，OK。OK， I uh I will I will also cover one of the transaction that's happening you know in uh October. OK, this unit was at Amoy Street. Amoy Street is at the prime CBD you know in the in the District One conservation area. So this particular unit actually the land size is two seven seven three, okay. They have a GFA of approximately eight thousand square feet, okay. So and this unit has transacted at twenty nine point eight million, okay. If you ask me whether this unit has transacted at lower than the market rate, no, it is no. The the actually this unit you know during during the crisis period so called crisis period a foreigner buyer actually bought this unit at. One of the record price, ah. Okay, so this is exactly what what we are saying. Okay, so these are the these are the prime CBD location that is happening, and the foreigner and also the local buyer are coming in to this shop house market. So this is what I want to share about you know this transaction. Okay, so Amoy Street is really one of the prime one. Okay, the last one that I want to cover basically is at this Tanjong Katong Road, ah. Okay, this Tanjong Katong Road is also one of the the very prime area, but this Tanjong Katong Road just have to just have to take note they are under 
residential with commercial at first story. Okay, so basically this particular shop house, you guys, if you guys have remember, you know, we have shared about zoning, which is residential with commercial at first story. Foreigner are not eligible. So this particular unit is a local buyer who actually bought. Actually, the price that has transacted $8 million, if you ask me, is to be honest, is quite a fair price for the seller. Uh. It's not below the market price also. And they are in the FMB trade. Uh. Currently, this, this tenant ground floor is an FMB also. And I actually shared in Tanjong Katong Road, if your shop house is not an FMB, you no longer able to do change of views. So this particular unit is at the advantage because it is currently a FMB. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, actually Grace Lin has a unit for sale, huh? Grace Lin? Mm, sure. yeah. <clears throat> mm. So actually, if you guys you know have someone that are looking at along this location, it can actually give Grace Lin a call. Okay. Mm. So typically, I think we have shared this one. We I, I have end this one. So I will hand over you know the the so-called to Grace Lin. Grace Lin will share a bit on, on, on her listing. Okay, Grace Lin. Mm. 好,那么今天呢,我可以跟大家分享的其实哈,我每天呢都有收到同行打来跟我问,就是咨询,就是我手头上有什么存货,那么电屋其实现在大致上啊同行他们的买家都已经开始步入,就是在考虑哈,就是
but um, I don't have such a high budget, 5 million, 10 million, I don't have this kind of money. Uh, you got anything at below 1 million, million or not? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And uh, no EBSD, no SSD, and you can still get rental yield of uh, more than 5%. Um, is there such thing? Yes. Um, so now pay attention. Okay, if you're one of those people, pay attention because this is what I'm going to show you now. Right? Um, so we are talking about this um, area that is uh, is um, an area where uh, a lot of people go for the good food. You know, um, we talk about um, uh, food heaven. We talk about... Um, um, the one of the best things uh, when you do in travel, whether you travel or you are living, just you know going about your daily life, F and B uh, is something that you cannot um, that you cannot escape uh, Okay, even if you are the kind now uh, we say, oh, I just uh, eat to live. Okay, but still you still need food uh. So this is a place uh, where you can get all this um, uh, famous uh, food um, all in one place famous one in one place. And this place is not a very big place. It's only a small street and there are only about 20 units of um, shops, okay? Uh, 20 units including F&B and takeaways. So um, the Bukit Tima, this is the Bukit Tima area. So Bukit Tima area, if you look at the, um, uh, I, the um, a legend on the left, you will see that um, the green area will be nature reserve. And then most of the area, what we want to see is a residential, which is all this peach, peach color area. Uh, but for our purposes, for investors uh, in commercial shop houses, you do not want ABSD, you do not want uh, to pay SSD, then you want to look at the dark blue ones or some of these um, light blue ones. There will be selected ones and that you do not have to pay additional buyers than to pay. So again, come join. Uh, and going zooming in onto the area, you see that there are a lot of uh, residential houses, residential areas around um, the this uh, all these uh, little blue spots. So with some blue spots here, this one is actually um, the the there's a cold storage and um, opposite the um, uh, King Albert Park uh, MRT station, just next to the King Albert Park MRT station. Okay. Uh, Sign Darby Center. Uh, it has cold storage there. Okay, it's converted into uh, something quite um, uh, upmarket kind of shopping and cold storage and, and uh, tots. Uh, uh, two of uh, of the trade tots. And then uh, there are some um, dark, dark blue ones here. So there are some also light blue ones. Light blue ones, if you look at the legend, check the legend. Light blue is just, just means residential with. Um, uh, residential and commercial mixed, okay? And then uh, the dark blue one will be places uh, where we'll be more interested in. Um, but then, for, uh, for example, going back going back to the example just now of Dine by Sign Darby Center. Sign Darby Center is actually not for sale. So you can see a lot of places here, even though they're dark blue, they may not be for sale. So um, the opportunity for investors are, uh, um, is actually not a lot. Nah. So just now, I think to quote just, uh, Grace Lin, nah, she say, now if you see something good, nah, <laughs> okay? you mm -hmm. cannot wait. You cannot say, oh, let me think about it and it's gone. Okay, this is what happened. So for the last uh, seven days since our last F&B life, so many things has happened. And a lot of these um, units, uh, even before you see it in newspaper, even before you see it in uh, Property Information Guru, they are already taken, gone. So, okay. So that's why if you come to our F, uh, Facebook Live, uh, you actually get quite a bit of insiders um, um, information that you not, do not get elsewhere. Like. You don't even get this in the newspaper. Because newspaper, why? Because you place an advertisement, it takes uh, at least 24 hours for it to, um, to you know, get it ready and, and uh, have the wordings and all um, confirmed. And then sometimes it will take two or three days, uh, at least 48 hours before you can see the advertisement. But within this time, uh, some units are actually taken. Uh. So I'm, I'm not kidding, even, sorry? I'll 
只要是报在报刊上已经是 history 了 ，the party is over。<laughs> the party is over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then the uh, the you know because ah、uh, the investors ah、uh, when they come in ho,、oh, all these transactions are already done deal. Eh, is 已经成已经是成交已经是过去了的。当你们看报纸是已经是 past tense 啊，是 already happened. 你懂吗？我虽然英文不是很好，我懂什么叫 past tense。你懂吗？<laughs> 因为 present tense 是底下做完了才会在在在啊、uh, 报纸上报道嘛。那么这个是是不是事实？就我每次我女儿跟我讲 ，My me the party is over. Don't tell me about the newspaper. I'm like the party. <笑>所以 actually actually， 我觉得现在的孩子哦，比我们这一代哦，年轻，在我们这那个年轻一代比我们快嘞。他们的思维哦，想他们的想象力，他们所讲的 slang 啊，什么 GG 啊。什么来的？我就问他，啊 ，G G 就是 good game， game over 了，你不用想了，过去了，你太慢了。我讲了，哦，原来是这个意思哦。<笑>所以从中我也就是学到了，就是你要知道，只有我们每天在外走的哈，其实真的，呃，我那一些年轻一代的企业家，已经把那个租赁已经哈，就是。呃，确定他们要的地点啊，已经定了下来。他们定了下来，而已经是到了明年的年中。那个单位还没有 available， 他们已经已经是定下来的，就是这样。嗯，好，黑人姐可以继续了。<笑>不然我等一下我怕我忘记 short memory。<笑> Okay, so let me just uh continue. So yeah, I think what Missy say is true, though. Um, if you are not fast enough, it's game over. And a lot of these things are.、Uh, I have one a、uh, unit in Club Street. Ah, 真的是用抢的 You know, we have um、uh, offers coming in. Ah,、uh, for rental. Okay, sorry, just to clarify, it's only for rental. But the offers that came in, ah,、uh, is actually more than what um、uh, what ah、uh, it is more. It is so much. It is so much better than expected. Ah,、uh, because we thought pandemic what. A bus cannot operate, cannot uh, uh even alcohol cannot get past ten thirty. Then why is why are these people still so um keen on、uh, operating a new place? So um it's you you may it things may not be what you imagine、uh, because from what you see from the newspaper and from what you see from the news, it's actually not quite the same when we are on the ground and we are seeing this. And uh if you don't. Believe ah,、uh, you can actually come with one of us ah、uh, for one of these viewing and、uh, we can show you live ah、uh, what is going on ah、uh, in this um in this situation right now for sale and for rent in in these popular places. Okay, so um this is the place that I'm talking about, Chongqing Nam Road. Ah,、uh, it is actually for sale, and again, you know, um it's not ah、uh, something that ah、uh, I'm not allowed to advertise. Ah,、uh, and it's ah、uh, it's only twenty units of um. F and B along this street, and、uh, very very rare that people would sell. And then、um, it's the MRT station is just next door, and the、uh, the the this this whole place、uh, I mentioned just now is just surrounded by a lot of residential,、uh, and there are only tiny spots of dark blue and tiny spots of light blue. And these are so a lot of these are actually not for sale. So、uh, bear this picture in mind.、Uh, then this is、um, all the New launches,、uh, that's going to complete、um, this year until all the way to two zero, the year two zero two four. Some pending sales are、uh, like the link and、uh, good luck garden and all these are pending sales. This one will probably stretch up to two twenty twenty five twenty six. Um, but in this, uh, seven kilometers radius, approximately, um, it's there are. There are a lot of new residential coming up, right? All these are high density. All these are com uh condos, and uh so the one that I'm talking about is、uh, approved as a eating establishment. You must understand, um, this is very extra valuable because along this street, if you are not already a F and B um approved establishment, F and B approved um shop house, then application for new shop houses will not be allowed. So、uh, level two right now is residential. It's actually used as a living quarter for the workers from on level one. However, from January onwards, things will change. Uh, like I say, things uh actually close even before it's out in the market, right? So in uh, uh within a few days, uh, Gracelyn brought a new tenant. 
uh, to this place and we have already uh, closed our uh, FMV. So you expect to see a new FMV along Chongqingnam Road from January or February onwards. And then uh, level two, although it's residential, it is actually a, a, um, eligible uh, to be converted to either a commercial school, childcare center, medical clinic office, or pet shop. Okay, so for the level two, uh, it is now available for rent uh, at $8,000. Okay, $8,000. I think the floor area, approximately 1,003 to 1,005 square feet. Um, it is like, the, uh, it's about the size uh, of, uh, old four-room flat, four-room HDB flat. Um, so now the partition is for three bedrooms with living and, and uh, kitchen and all. Um, but this one, if you have um, um, clients, you know, looking for a tuition centre or for offices or to use as a clinic or pet shop or even hotel service apartment, now these are the possible um, trades uh, for level two. Okay, for level two. At eight thousand dollars, so you have a tenant. Please uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, other information is uh freehold root buffer. This one is more relevant for sale, and then uh, the recent transaction. Um, there isn't many transactions uh, because along this road they are only about twenty minutes, and um the the last one that the the one that I could pick up that is that for a comparison is number six, and this one is actually thirty nine. 0.5% per annum. This is about 2.5 years, two and a half years, uh, and 510% uh, returns. And interestingly, look at this. Uh, there is another one, uh, number two, that was sold uh, in 2017 uh, for 9.8 million. Okay, so 10.5, if you think about it, is actually not expensive. Uh, it, it is something, uh, it's really a, a hidden gem. Um, okay, so you have buyer or tenant for level two, please let me know. And then uh, another one uh, that I want to talk about will be uh, around the same vicinity. This is the same map that we saw just now. Um, the um, Chongqingnam, uh, this, you know, this dark blue area surrounded by residential. And uh, the Beauty World MRT station is just here. And um, then you have this, if you look at this uh, light blue in color, this is actually a mixture of residential and uh, commercial. Okay, mixture of residential and commercial, but this is strata title, it means every individual owner will have uh, either a commercial title or a residential title. And this place is called Bukit Timah Plaza. Okay, Bukit Timah Plaza, it actually sits uh, in a very strategic junction uh, because all the traffic coming from the, from the west, all the traffic going to town will have to pass by this junction and this is a very, very busy junction. Okay, and then uh, that is, you see this triangle here? This is actually um, a beauty wall. It has already been unblocked and now um, launching on as Florette. Okay, this is one of the 24 uh, new launches that we talked about uh, earlier on. Okay, so Bukit Timah Plaza, um, it's um, 99 years. Okay, so it left uh, about uh, 50 something, 60 years. This is Foreigners eligible, no ABSC, no SSD. Okay, so for those people who say, no, Helen, I don't have 10 million, I don't have 20 million to spare, you know, to buy a shop house. Then you want to go have a start a foray into a um, commercial market, commercial sector of the of Singapore property. Then this is something that you can consider. Okay, so um, it's in the basement. The rental yield, I think the, the good news in renting is 5.5%. Right now, at this moment, as we talk, the uh, um, mortgage loan rate for um, for a commercial housing loan uh, for a commercial property loan is in the region of one point five one point eight percent. Correct me if I'm wrong, Richard. Correct, right? One point five percent. Richard is busy. Maybe one point five. Ah, one point five. One point five. Some, some bank actually offered 1.5 percent. Yeah. 1.5, right? Yeah, because uh, it, it even dropped further. You know, when just when we thought that the mortgage rate uh, is already so low, cannot go any lower. Now it's 1.5. Okay, mm. so uh, between 1.5 to 1.8, uh, depending on the bank and depending on, on what kind of uh, how much loan and, and what kind of packages you're going to get, right? 
So 5.5 minus your C2 percent, uh, you still got a 3.5 um, uh, positive uh, uh, cash flow. Uh. I think that is actually a very good deal if you ask me. And then there's an end block potential. And if you see uh, where there's in this uh, small area and there are so many, um, go back to the uh, in this small area, there are so many new launches. The uh, potential for on block because uh, booking uh, this uh, this place uh, is also a bit dated, right? It's been quite long, and uh, so the potential for on block for residential perhaps may not be so attractive. But for uh, mixed development and for commercial development, um, the potential uh, for on block uh, is still there. Uh, I think the market is still there. There are still some demands, uh, and um, they, if they can you know increase the um, the GFA for the residential part, uh, for the commercial part, then it actually makes it more attractive for um, for the uh, developer to come in. Okay, so coming back to this, this is uh, the Bukitima Plaza that we're talking about. Uh, Flora has already been unblocked, so the chances of unblock is actually uh, fairly high for this property. And then uh, Bukitima Plaza is in the basement. He has ready tenant. Now, this tenant has been there for quite a while, right? It's been there for quite a while. So it is a long-term tenant. They are punctual. They are good tenants. They have been paying rent. And with uh, I think uh, take uh, take advantage of the current market with the low mortgage rate, uh, lock it in for three or five years and then wait for unblock. And in the meantime, collect rent. It's a positive cash flow. And you know, uh, if you have seen the recent newspaper cutting, right? Uh, that is addressed to the all quadrant, all quadrant, you know. <laughs> Do not think that uh, going into industrial property with very high um, uh, rental yield with 6%, 7%, you think that that is a good uh, investment, but you must think of the exit strategy because when you come to industrial, B1 especially, um, is, there is a bit of oversupply you know? and the oversupply right now has not been absorbed by the market yet. So you have to be very careful with uh, what you hear. You have to verify with uh, qualified um, uh, estate agents uh, like Richard and Grace and myself. Okay, <laughs> Please verify your information before you put your hard-earned money into um, uh, one of these investment schemes. Mm. Okay, so with that, um, I come to uh, the end of what I... Hey, what happened to Richard? เออเดี๋ยวเอาเงินนะคุยก็ใช้ถ้าอยู่เอ่อถูกเอาว่าถูกคัมแบ็กอินนะโอเคสู่เอ่อเอ่อกริสเอ่อกริสลินหรืออะ
，因为我们每一年要进修嘞。如果哈，我们如果说是误导你们的话，我们就会被政府惩罚我们，连执照会被吊销，不是开玩笑的。那么没有执照都可以实行哈，来就是。的给你们啊、呃、开课，你们花几千块去上课，倒不如找个中介来问、来询问、咨询一下，因为我们是已经是被 train 的、练出来的，就是政府啊、呃、必要我们啊、呃、必经之道。那么说实在的，很多时候，当我们哈、啊、跟你们讲解，你们在外面用耳朵当眼睛。我们是每天在做那个交易，尽管是转售也好，租赁也好，我们每天都在做。我们遇到的顾客，呃，什么叫有钱人？只要是过 hundred million 的，都是有钱人。没有过 hundred， 没有过 hundred million 的，我们不算是有钱人，全部都是普通人。真的，我们在那些发展商的身上学到的东西是他们的经验，他们的智慧。是我们哈普通人所，呃看不到的，我们在街上吸取不到的。可是跟他们接洽了之后，我们懂得说，为何他们会考虑投资房产，用哪一类的房产，而不是随便就去上几千块的课，然后呢，什么，嗯、呃，就是把祖屋卖了，买两套，可是怎么去实行等等这些，我不去，我就不讲细节。最终，如果你们真的是有多余的存款，当然投资是对的，可是，呃，量力而为啦。好、哦，就是这样子讲 ，OK， 嗯，好 ，Richard，、okay. 你现在刚才说的那个安香是什么？是啊，是啊 ，OK，Anyway，Anyway，、okay. anyway, uh, l e t me，let me do my my last、uh, session。Okay, so this is one of the unit that uh I would like to actually introduce to to for those who actually you know are looking for some some uh deals ah、uh, some uh best buy best buy in this location. Okay, so I would recommend this is one of the unit at Anxiang Club Street area. So Anxiang at Club Street area, if you ask me at the at today's moment ah、uh, in today's moment, okay the the because of the COVID. You know, it is affecting some of the some of the restaurant area. But if you ask me whether this location is it some something that you should actually consider, yes, this location is really available, especially the F and B. Ah, so you look at the right side of the of the photo. You just imagine, you know, in Anxiang and Club Street, this is the location that you know all the expect all the locals are there. They are having their dining outside, you know, a a a route on the route side, which they actually stop all the all the routes ah, all the cars from coming in. Actually, they do a route closure, okay, on the street. So you know, the restaurant owner actually allowed to put their their tables and chairs outside the streets ah. It is really really awesome. There are some videos that you can actually go to YouTube and take a look. We just just type it Club Street or Anxiang. You will be able to see what is in the past, but this location, to be honest, there's a lot of owner are not selling. But today, there's something that that I'm going to introduce to you guys that is really one of the one of the one of the gem. Ah, okay. So basically, basically, Club Street, Club Street Anxiang is just around this location. Okay. So Basically, these are the whole CBD. These are all the whole CBD, and the dark blue one are the commercial zoning. So Chinatown is on the left side. Below are the Club Street and Anxiang. Behind Club Street are the Amoy Street, Telok Ayer Street location. So typically, this is right in the center, you know, of the heart of CBD. Okay, so it's one of the prime location and it's really available. So let me let me proceed. So this is typically. One of the unit that you know, ah,、uh, I will be introduced today. So actually, it is it is classified under Chinatown Teloai Conservation Area, and this particular unit is conserved. Okay, it's a conserved building in a historic district. Okay, so Club Street Anxiang location land size is approximately a thousand square feet. There is total two and a half story. Okay, 
the GM phase is approximately 2,000 square feet and it is zone commercial, which just now I just show you the map. Okay, the, but the best part is this is triple nine year leasehold. Uh, triple year nine year leasehold and it is FMB license. So this is one of the one of the unit that you know is truly, you know, is truly rare. And here you look at it, the first floor, the second floor, and the mezzanine are also restaurant. Okay, so restaurants are able to still operate business now, okay, except pubs and bar. So restaurant in today's, you know, during phase two, restaurants are still able to operate. They can, of course, there's certain safety distancing that is, uh, that is uh, so-called, so-called, uh, they, they have some, some guideline during this period. But, but I just want to share that the three story are all restaurant license. Okay. So this is one of the photos that I can take. This is inside the, 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 the unit. Okay. So this is along Ansiang, Ansiang Road. Okay. So particularly this is one of the location that uh, is really available. And I just want to mention zone, okay, which is I highlighted here uh, is commercial. So let me go back to here again. The price for this particular unit, the owner are asking 10 million. Okay. Valuation is approximate nine over million. Okay. But today, you know, because of the COVID situation, the business has been affected some of the tenant. So this particular unit, actually the owner can consider somewhere anything above 8.5 million, which is very rare. Restaurant license, quantum is 8.5 million and above. You can actually get this unit uh, with full F&B license. Okay. So this is what I want to share on this particular unit. Let me go into the next one, the transaction. So actually, this is not new. Okay, in August, there's a transaction at Club Street at 15.7 million. And also there's some transaction at 17, 21 million, but these are the bigger unit. But this particular unit that I am marketing, basically the land size is approximately 900 square feet. And, and what? And the price are below 10 million. Actually, it's not below 10 million. It's below 9 million. Okay, so... It's truly very rare, okay? It's truly very rare, but uh, so anything, if you guys have any things, any customer that you want to introduce, you can actually give me a call, okay? You can give me a call and uh, yeah, I think I have done my session. Okay. Uh, Richard, question? Yep, come. Uh, what is the rental yield for this unit? Okay, this particular unit, the, the renter currently, there is a, there is a tenant offering at 19,000 now. Okay, the landlord has not signed the lease yet. So 19,000, Helen, you want to help me to calculate? 19,000 uh, 19, for all three units. Uh, three, all, all three floor, yes. yes. It's an FMB. The landlord has not signed the lease yet. They are going for three-year lease. So, mm -hmm. so, 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 so you can calculate as 8.5 million. Mm -hmm. right. mm. So the rental yield is 2.68. Mm. So currently, the, the, which is this location, the, the F&B, before COVID, you know, this unit easily 20 over 1,000. But of course, in today's, we just have to lease a bit lower, let the tenant come in and get stabilized. After stabilized, when the, when the lease come for the renewal, then we just increase the rental. So temporarily, yes, it is, it is, it is at the slightly lower rental you. But the quantums are below nine million for mm -hmm. FMB shop houses along this location, this prime CBD location. Yeah, yeah. I think FMB going big time, you know, mm. <laughs> evergreen trade. Apart from FMB, healthcare, 最火火热的，我是觉得是 e-commerce，真的 co-working space is something going to be uh coming in, which I believe uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs are uh, who is looking for home office uh. this is just my was or the first side uh, I I anticipate the demand for home office will be coming very strong. 
yeah in consideration of the young the the, the younger generation they prefer to to start their own start on their own because as we age I will fast in down the just um woman gen x how for woman gen x the full mota pufan does me to course me or shady ma number woman so gen x one said baby boomer era the woman the young to you get old level la diploma was a tash to that it pan uh pan to a fade la no more you we can would hide the so uh or we won't would hide the la when has so love me that's why you can get a corner has the tongue yes mama uh, mommy of course i get to start my own business uh, i don't want to be on the chopping board you know in a corporate world nobody is indispensable wow you know at the kind of tender age uh, they can speak like that back in my general in my i mean gen x uh, back then i was just on gong gong ho, just gonna ta gong. Was just want to admin da fen gong just sign your name you may say not saying tian will wait to sales person you know, from admin become a salesperson. Then, actually, oh, you can be happy. When you see your customer, oh, buy the that property, oh, you are very happy, very happy, very happy, very happy. The most important thing is when you help customers, oh, find the good that they are doing, they are doing the business, they are doing the business, they are doing the business. I tell you, when you help customers, oh, find the good that they are doing, they are doing the business, they are doing the business. 呃，生意，那么他们只要没有，呃，只要是扩充去其他的区域找我们，我们都很感恩，就是说顾客还记得我们。十年前跟我买房子的，今天还打给我 Grace 啊，我有朋友要买房子，呃，你帮我啊、呃、协助他一下。十年后啊，打电话给我，你那种感觉真好。今还有刚刚昨天哦。有一个顾客打给我，十四年前买房子，还记得吗？你记得吗？我跟你买 Bukit t i m a 的公寓，我当然记得啊。你知道吗？那种顾客，为我十四年前了 ，Oh my God， 我把青春卖了给房产呢。<笑> yeah， so this is something that um。Uh, I learn from the younger ones. Ah, they are ha, reading, they are doing business, yeah, ha, doing IT, yeah, ha. Actually, is their that, ah, the process of learning. It's not about getting being theoretical smart, you know. They they know how to cross apply the transferable skills with their street smartness. That which I don't have street smart. Nah, I'm a little. 直的啦，我是那种，<笑>我我的先生叫我四方头啦，呀<笑>、yeah, ，因为我只会看这样而已。哈，那么年轻的一代是看他的 horizon 是很阔的嘞，所以有都市跟没有都市真的也差一点点。不过呢，我们上一辈的哈，他们没有什读什么书，可是他们冲力很强，就跟内地的朋友一样，就是哈。I just want to win. In business, it's a better field. It's not a child to bring. It's like your mindset so different. You know what? You want to share that? Is it? 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 啊，顾客哈，行家那些企业家已经是在那边的哈，那种一亿富翁啊 ，billion air 啊，他们就跟你讲了 ，Grace 啊，秋玲啊，做生意哈，不是带孩子啊，你不可以这样啊，我在那边，哈 ，OK， <笑>所以不同不同的，对 ，Yeah， it's different because I think Singapore， um， children we are actually we actually grow in a very protected environment， 嗯、mm. uh, ，but um， you know like Uh, on the ground, right? Those people who come um, to rent these houses, uh, these short houses, uh, for uh, F and B or other purposes, they are actually they are not just the investors, uh, but the people who are running business. They're actually young entrepreneurs, and a lot of them are actually from overseas. Mm. Yeah, and uh, you can tell the difference uh, because the you know local person they come, they ask a lot of questions, they do a lot of calculations. Then they are very afraid to commit. But you see a foreigner, you know, Koreans or uh, Europeans or Americans or you know, they when they come in, and um, they are very um aggressive uh, in mm. the bids, you know. Yeah, 
Yes. You say you say fifteen thousand. They say, oh, I give you sixteen. I want this place. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So ah, uh, so I have this kind of situations. Ah, uh. they say, oh, take over fee fifty thousand. He said fifty thousand. Ah, uh, but there is another offer. We don't know how much. Never mind. Yeah. I give you fifty five thousand. I want this place. Yeah. Yeah. Young young entrepreneurs and ah, uh, you you it's very difficult to see this kind of um of a spirit uh, in a in a fighting local. spirit. Huh? Uh, the, the fighting. fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I find that sometimes, hmm, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I realize, oh, actually, um, over being overprotective, ah, uh, we deprive them the independence, ah, uh, of learning how to be a survivor, to becoming a thriver. Then, being protective also in one way, ah, we hide out harm, ah, because they don't dare to make mistake. We make mistake precaution, precaution. So, it becomes a child who doesn't protect himself. 可是哈、哦，我跟我孩子讲嘞，你要做生意哈、哦，你要输得起，你输不起，你不要做生意。他讲 ，OK， 外面 after your work seriously。嗯，连总统都会输啊，不要讲做生意哈。<笑> yeah， 拜登跟 Trump <笑>。不过我们在我们在他身上学到一样东西耶，七十多岁耶，你懂吗 ？They are still in a thriving spirit 哎。所以其实哈，我们还有很长的路走。我还觉得我们在还很年轻。不要讲七十多岁了，人家九十四岁了还在 fight 嘞。哦，你，九十多岁，天哪！九十哦，我知道了，我知道了，<笑>我懂了。啊、uh, ，letter M 的。<笑> letter M 的哦，还是 doctor 嘞。<笑>哇 ，OK。OK， 不要讲太远，讲靠近一点。<笑>靠近一点就好了。啊、其实说的，呃，说真的，其实，在新加坡。我女儿点点醒了我一件一件事呢。其实这个阻断措施也是真的让我跟我孩子哈、哦、带进了关系，跟他沟通，了解到了年轻一代他们的想法。真的，真的，他说：“妈咪，我 I'm already a girl now. You don't worry. Don't think I fall down. I cannot stand up on my own. You know, you think too much already. 你懂吗？”他会这样跟我讲哎，他想 OK 咯，就给你去尝试一下。Mummy, you must let me fall down. I make mistake. I learn from mistake. If you scared that I make mistake, I will never learn. You know or not, mummy? You cannot like that. Like that, ah, you, you, you become I retarded like that. I'm like, oh, okay, lor. <laughs> That's the last question. Ah, last question for Richard. Ah, so this short house in ah、uh, Club Street, right? It's ah、uh, three story high. Ah,、uh, mezzanine, including the mezzanine, is actually approved as a restaurant. So, ah,、uh, just want to understand previous the previous concept. Um, what did they do with the rest, the second story and the mezzanine? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can you hear me. Can you hear ah, me? Ah, I can hear you. Can hear you. Can hear. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I think I think my my thing was hang. Ah,、uh. okay. Anyway, ah,、uh, before that they actually use it for sitting area. Upper floor is also a、uh, F and B. Yeah. Ah.、Uh. The attics they did not use it for restaurant, but they use it for office. Ah,、uh, they use the mezzanine for office. For office, yeah, because because it's not big lah. Yeah. Mm. So they use the first two floor for F and B. Yes. I have seen so, some short houses. Ah, for example, Boat Key, Boat Key, right? They are three story or four story high. They actually use the highest higher floor ah as ah、uh, private VIP rooms. Yeah.、Mm. Yeah, because you still see, you still have the river view. So it is actually a very very nice ah、uh, very nice setup. Yeah. Okay. Well, time flies. Uh, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. past our ten o'clock. <laughs> wow. Okay. What is that? You know. Yeah, hopefully whatever that we shared today will be useful for、mm. you. Um, and so uh, you have buyers for this um, this rare opportunity. Ah,、uh, you know this.、Uh, you must understand. Ah,、uh, short house in the past in ah、uh, Trust Street. Ah,、uh, in sorry, not Trust Street, Club Street and Anxiang Road area. They are all the past transaction. Ah,、uh, has always been very high, more than ten ten million, fifteen million kind of kind、uh, of range. Ah,、uh. so to have to take it ah、uh, below ten million ah、uh, is a very rare opportunity, and you'll be surprised. You, there will be investors around you who will be very very interested in this shop house. Yes. So, ah,、uh, if you have oh, a、uh, Jerry Chan. Okay, Richard, Jerry, you,、uh, Jerry is asking you for for details. Okay, sure, sure, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, later,、uh, I will send、uh, to you. Yes, Richard will send to you. Okay. So, ah,、uh, good. Thank you very much. And ah,、uh, again, ah,、uh, please like our page, share our page. Our video will be up again, available for viewing. Ah,、uh, after a few minutes after this ends. And then,、uh, if you have questions or you have any、uh, potential rent、uh, tenants or buyers for our unit,、uh, 
um, please approach us and don't forget that uh, we have a lot more other units in our in our hands. Uh, we just cannot present everything to you uh, tonight. So um, thank you very much for spending your time with uh, your precious time with us on a Tuesday night again next Tuesday at what time? <laughs> 9pm Okay, please join us again every Tuesday 9 to 10pm and we will see you again Bye Bye, Bye. Bye.